Hello guys, I'm Shahab Ali. So today I'm back with a new video for you people. Before starting video, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, so please subscribe my channel for a new video updates. So today guys, I'm gonna tell you about the history of Algeria. The modern state of Algeria is a relatively recent creation. The name was coined by the Ottoman Turks in the 16th century to describe the territory controlled by the Regency of Algiers. Initially a Turkish colony, the Regency broke free of the Ottoman Empire and founded a military republic of unusual stability. This endured almost 300 years until the superior diplomatic problems prompted the French to invade in the 9th, 19th century. The Barbary Coast Barbary, which means a corruption of Berber. Before the arrival of the French, Algeria was known to Europeans as the Barbary Coast, whose notorious pirates preyed on Christian shipping. The drear Kher al Din, going under the chilling pseudonym of Barbarossa, was the first regent of Algeria during this period, and on point held no fewer than 25,000 Christians captives in the city. Piracy sent shivers down many a spine until the US Navy defeated a Barbary fleet of Algiers in 1850. Despite this, the feared pirates were not entirely beaten until the French attacked Algiers in 1830 and forced the ruling day which means commander or governor to capitulate. It took another 41 years for French domination of the country to be completed. The main opposition came from Amir Abdul Qadir, the great hero of Algeria's nationalist movement. Abdul Qadir was a sheriff, which means a descendant of the Prophet not a wild west finger, who ruled western and central inland Algeria. His forces resisted the French for almost six years before they were defeated near Ujda in 1844. Abdul Qadir himself finally surrendered in 1846 and spent the rest of his life in exile. He died in Damascus in 1883. French rule The French colonial authorities set about changing the face of Algeria by eliminating anything that was previously through and as Algerian. Local culture was destroyed, mosques were converted into churches and the old Medinas were pulled down and replaced with streets laid out in neat grides. The greatest symbol of the change was the conversation of the great mosque of Algiers to the cathedral of St. Philippe. The French also distributed large parts of prime farming land to European settlers known as Predners. Italian, Maltese, and Spanish, as well as French. Algeria's war of independence, led by the newly formed Front by Liberation National, FLN National Liberation Front, began on 31st October 1954 in Bat Batna, east of Algiers. The fighting lasted seven years with terror campaigns led by both native Algerians and Pied Noir settlers, costing at least a million Algerians lives. The French president Charles de Gaulle, aware of the impossibility of continued French rule, agreed to a referendum on independence in March 1962. The result was resounding 6 million in favor and only 16,000 against. Independence was declared on 15th 
of July 1962. Socialism and Democracy FLN candidate Ahmed Ben Bella, who robbed a bank to fund a revolutionary group, became Algeria's first president. He pledged to create a revolutionary Arab Islamic state based on the principles of socialism and collective leadership at home and anti-imperialism abroad. He was quickly overthrown in 1965 by former colleague Colonel Howery, who effectively returned the country to military rule. Bomidini's emphasize on industrial development at the expense of the agricultural sector was to have a major impact in later years, when the country became heavily dependent on food imports and migrant workers. Bomidini died in December 1978 and FLN replaced him with Colonel Ch Charlie Bejdid who was re-elected in 1984 and 1989. There was very little political change under Bomidini and Charlie. The FLN was the sole political party, pursuing basically secular on socialist policies. There was little evidence of opposition until October 1988 when thousands of people took to the streets in protest against government, austerity measures and food shortage. The army was called in to restore order and between 160 and 600 people were killed. The government reacted by pledging to relax the FLN monopoly on political power and work toward a multi-party system. The extent of the opposition became clear at local government election held in early 1990, which produced landslide victories for previously outlawed fundamentalist front Islamic Dewslot FIS Islamic Salvation Front. The initial round of Algeria's first multi-party parliamentary elections held in December 1991 produced another landslide win for the FIS. The FLN was left looking like a political irrelevance, taking only 15 of the 231 seats. Charlie's apparent acceptance of this prompted the army to step in, replacing the, the president with a 5 percent Alt Council D. Etat HCE High Council of State, headed by Mohammed Bodiev, a former leader of the Algerian Revolution. The second round of elections was cancelled, and FIS leaders Abbas Maddani and Ali Belhadaj were arrested while others fled into exile. Several war. Bordiev lasted six months before he was assassinated amid signs of a growing guerrilla offensive led by the group Islamic Arm GIA Armed Islamic Group. He was replaced by former FLN hardliner Ali Kafi who oversaw the country's rapid descent into a civil war before he was replaced by a retired general. Liamin Zirowal In January 1944, Zirowal attempted to defuse the situation by holding fresh election in 1995, but Islamic parties were bared from the poll and Zirowal's sweeping victory came amid widespread claims or fraud. Hopes for peace went unfulfilled. Instead, the war became even more brutal. With Amnesty International accusing both sides of 
massacres and the war atrocities the GIA angered by French aimed to the government extended the war to French soil with a series of bombing and hijackings eventually government security forces began to gain the upper hand and at the beginning of 1999 Zero World announced that he would be stepping down new elections held in April that year resulted in a controversial victory for the establishment candidate Abdul Aziz Botflik a former foreign minister who was elected unopposed after the rest of the candidates in the field claimed fraud and withdrawal Bot Flicka moved quickly to establish his legitimacy by calling a refugium on a plan to offer amnesty to the rebels war weary Algerians responded overwhelmingly with a 98% yes vote and by the end of 1999 many groups had responded and laid down their weapons however elements within the GIA remained defiant and were suspected of assassinating FIS leader Abdul Qadir Hachani in October 1999 in an attempt to derail the peace process so guys this was history of Algeria if you really like this video so please thumbs up for this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and have a great day